Hey guys, this is Garis. Welcome back to another episode of Survival Done. We're back here in Feed the Beast and we have basically finished our tree. So this is how big and how high our tree is going up. So it's a little ways up, I would say. And this is our other tree. So it has a spiral in the inside, as I mentioned, that what we're going to do in a previous video. So it's quite actually a climb to the top. It's a bit high. Actually it takes, I think, uh, quicker to climb the other tree that's twice as high as this one. The other one goes up to level 176, I believe, or 3. See. And see, and then it comes here. And this will be part of a branch, one of the fingers that holds the platform up, if you will. The fingers I talked in a previous episode. So we are now at level 121, and look, that one still goes up higher. Okay, so let me quickly go down there because this is uh, quite the way down. Okay, so this tree, it has a spiral staircase on the outside. And this is our bedroom. You can still run up and up and up. But the amount of times I fell off of here is not even funny. I fell so many times. 176 years. So that's quite fun. It was a fun build. Quite high. And yeah, a lot to do. So in this episode, we are going to make ourselves a jetpack so that we can get up and down here a little bit easier. Even though we need the steps to get up if our jetpack runs dry or something. And so on. And I was also looking at the inventory charger. Charger and it's useless going with a simple one, it only holds what was that? I think about four, five, it holds 500,000. <clears> but the basic one, even the lowest one, holds a million, so it's easier to go with this one. But I need an Enderman head. I've been spending a few nights trying to hunt down Enderman. I got a couple of them. I enchanted this sword looting three as well to try and see if that gives a little bit better chance. I've killed 20, 30 Enderman. So it took quite some time and even in the map, where was that? Over here, I made a platform about seven blocks in the air. This, this is the most flat area I could find. Kill the, um, tried to let them spawn there. And so that they actually spawn during daytime, but that doesn't work. So unfortunately, that's a bummer. Don't know how we're going to get heads. Don't know if there's a way to get Enderman heads. But anyway, so for now, inventory charger is not something we can get to. I've also spent some time in daytime getting, getting more wood. I actually cleared this. <laughs> storage crate. I think there was only like one row left. Um, but I need we needed more for all the branches that we're going to do. So and also we need to finish that. So that's why I went ahead and gathered a few more dark oak wood blocks. Okay, and I've been eating all of the spoils <laughs> of war basically, all the apples. So soon we'll need to get a better food source but anyway but before we do that let's get into jetpack so the first tier is conductive like with all the other at uh, inter uh, io conduits or let's say ingots so conductive iron is basically your easiest way of um, easiest thing to get it's redstone and iron then we go to energetic alloy which is redstone, gold, and glowstone, and then it's vibrant alloy, which is that energetic alloy and an ender pearl, and then you get to end steel and so on. Oh, and there's electrical steel as well. So after conductive, it's electrical steel, which is iron, silicon, and pulverized coal or crushed coal or melt coal, if you will. 
So, the same with the jetpacks. You get conductive iron, electrical steel, energetic, and then vibrant. Same, pretty much the same. It's all the steels you get here, or metals. You do get the dark steel, but they don't count that towards those type of uh, machines and conduits, etc. So let's start off quickly making. So I think I got everything that we need. Grab a couple of leather off cam. Um, let's see, am I missing iron? I think yes. So I want to do make this because I don't think I made a jetpack on cam before. So that's the only reason I'm doing this. Now, so we need to make those. We do, do have those. Let's grab a couple of those. Okay. Okay. We we'll also need one of these. We have capacitors. So we only need these. Now we need these. And then we need a redstone. Two of them. Okay, and then we can make a jetpack. So this jetpack holds 80,000 RF. So it uses 32 RF per tick. So let's charge it. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, now we can fly black leaf. Okay, so that's just a little bit of flight and almost used a thousand RF. So if we fly up there, I think we should make it. If you go to inventory, that took almost ten thousand RF, but at least we can fly. Oh, and what's nice is this jetpack, usually before you will fall yourself to death, it will break. If I remember correctly, let's test this out. Oh no! <laughs> okay. So that does not work. Why? Okay, maybe that's specific to a specific jetpack. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's a fail. Anyway, okay, so next tier of jetpack. I want to at least get to the next tier. So let's remove that one, go to this one. So it needs electrical steel. So it only needs these guys. So we need industrial machine casings, which I should have made. Did I make? Yes, I did. And then we need two energy conduits, which is conductive iron, which is redstone and iron. So actually show you already and I think we already made that at least on cam. So it was actually a bummer. I shouldn't have made it. Why? Oh do I need, need obviously need two more. So we want you, you and you and then we can make you. Okay, great. So this one holds four hundred thousand, which is awesome. Okay, so we can do that. I wonder if we can combine it with our armor. That would be cool. Is it still charging? Last light when active must be worn as GSPs. Okay. Energy use. Okay, so even though it uses more RF, let's see, do we have a use for it? We can enforce it a bit a little bit but better. Nope. Unfortunately, nothing. What? Okay, so now we have flight, so now we can start putting on the branches. So I'll do that off cam because it's going to be a lot of building on again. But before we break for that, let's start something else. I don't know when you, if we started, if you noticed that. I had a bunch, or I had something else in my search bar. Oh, I shouldn't go there. That should go there. That should go there. That should go there. And that it was 
drawers so our storage system is seriously being well I don't know what to call it push to the limits because I'm putting things in where they shouldn't go and filling up things that shouldn't so I usually like to go with drawers crates and drawers so crates is awesome but I think at the end of the day we are going to completely switch over to um, applied energetics so usually what I do I use drawers so basic drawers is awesome you can put it down and you can put one of any type of material in it I have cobblestone and it will hold all of it if you look at a tooltip at the top it shows 96 so everything is in there so you can click oops to draw one or you can sneak and click to draw a stack and shift or um, sprint click is also I think right click is deposit and left click is draw okay and then there's some other awesome tools of drawers is this key Okay, so you use an upgrade template. Um, this I've made a bunch of them, so let me quickly make some of them. Okay, so I've made two of those keys because I want to make a quantifying key as well. And actually I want to make a personal key, especially we're, since we're on a server where other people can come and grab stuff. It's better to... Oh, you can make it with Britannia. It's better to lock everything just in case okay so what you do with this key is you can quantify so if you put something in here now it will show you how much there is okay but if you lock it you'll see there's a lock um, symbol at the top if you put something in now and you draw it out it will stay locked so you can't put anything else in there so let's say would can't put that in Okay, because I double right clicked it took all the apples out of my inventory but I can put something new into a blank item so that's kind of cool so and with the quantifying it shows you the numbers which is awesome we'll show you how much is left so this is quite the awesome um, mod to have as a storage mod that is so I just want to unlock it all so that we can clear it out okay now if you pick it up it will pick up oh oh it's configured yes i've got even if it's zero you have to put in something oh you have to put in that and then pull it out and then you can break it and then it won't keep that resource Okay, so I think for the interim, let us put this storage drawers down here in the bottom. So we'll put it down in the bottom just for a temporary storage solution till we have branches and places to put it. Okay, so this branch will come out about double the size and that bigger branch should come a bit lower. So I think our sleeping quarters can move a little down a little bit, maybe just right here or maybe right here. I'll show you what we'll do if we put a branch here. If we put a branch here, we'll make a hole inside in the tr main trunk, basically. And then we'll make a walkway on the inside all the way around, basically till we're at the same level as where we have a our spiral staircase. So that we can be on any level and we can get to that branch, basically. All right, so let's quickly put a couple of these down. Uh, that's a three. Just kind of want a semi good looking one. Okay, so now we need to lock all of them, but there is actually an easier way to do this. What you do is you get the um, this uh, drawer controller. Ok, 
okay but the problem is with a drawer controller if you have separate parts of the drawers like this uh, where it's split by a whole block or two it won't work it will work to the set of control um, drawers that it's connected to directly but the other ones not there is ways to get through that um i do show that in one of my other series or maybe let me know guys then i can maybe do a mini maybe again <laughs> but um yeah let me know then we can work that out so let's do it differently so let's go like this okay and you have to sneak place them otherwise you're going to oh no you don't have to only if you right click on the front do you need to actually Ooh, see like that so you have to get a bit crafty okay so now if you put this drawer controller here see it connects to both sets of these directly so now you can use a drawer con or keys on this controller you right click you right click and you will see it applied that to everything okay so now we can maybe put that into there so now if we have more cobblestone we can actually just place it on the controller and it will automatically put it where it needs to be so if we take it out come here right click and there it is so um, that's what we're going to use I'll just for temporary solution I'll do that off cam um, so yeah now it's time for some branch crafting so I'm going to move the tree or oh, our bedroom bedroom part tree or whatever that is over in this direction so let's or do we want to do that together uh, it's something small let's do that together then i can do the rest off cam and you guys can see the final product i don't want to waste too much time oh it's all in this great okay we can let's just take that and that in case okay so i think about here oh and you can press n oh n should press or oh, change the mode it's not working let's see uh, options controls over let's see over that should be in uh let's see show conflicts for in oh there's so many keys and stuff you need to do in this game it's hard to focus toggle hover over mode simply jetpacks too that's fine i don't see the other one okay so now we go and in and now we're on over mode we do fall a little bit but that's okay i'm just letting go everything so that's our little mode works and the top left corner you can see um, how much jetpack you have left and if it's in over mode or not okay so let's see we want to be about okay there's fine okay then we're going to break down out this area because we need to have a walkway all around till we get to our um, staircase let's see what level are we 78 okay we can use this to get our height so it seems easier cool wrong placement that's always a fun part with um, slabs of blocks or whatever you want to call it slabs it's in the tooltip you can see slabs oops ok 
Okay, now this is done. Now we can uh, make our platform. Only a small platform. We don't need too big because only a bit needs to be there. Maybe something like this, then the bed can stand there and we have something or another. Okay, cool. So now we need to close off. I'm not going to worry too much about the orientation of the of the um, uh, branches or whatever you want to call it, the wood blocks. Okay, quickly going to sleep. Oh, wait, we can maybe just go grab our bed. Then we can set our spawn here. Then we can enlarge this area and put something else here. Switch off over mode, otherwise you can have fun going downstairs. Okay, so that should be right there, right? And we can sleep. Awesome. Okay, so this will be our bedroom area. Okay, go back to over mode. Okay, let's see. I need small brush. So we'll have to come about from here. It's nothing like creative flood, unfortunately. But you can still make it work. See, so this actually kind of gives a little bit of um, randomness to it. So it's kind of okay. And there's going to be a bunch of leaves as well, so okay, that one is a bit too far, I believe. Just there is, and then it needs to come down. Don't put that much. Okay, so it's going to be two blocks around here. Something or another like that. Okay, and then we'll uh, put those fences around so that we can see through and then have leaves going about. But I think the trunk should go a little bit better, um, further. Close off the roof a little bit more. Just so that our, our floor is basically covered. This is completely random. I'm not. I didn't plan this out exactly how I wanted. We need to put a light in there. Close this off. I do believe I like this randomness of the placement. I don't like the controls not being not listening to me. But I think for a tree that randomness is awesome. Okay. How do you what do you guys think? So that's a small branch, we'll put leaves on there. Um, I'm going to go automatic tree farming but we need one of the bigger branches for that but more bigger than that one but I think at the moment that branch might actually be good enough for our power generation so the solar panels will will um, put a conduit straight up to the sky 
in the middle straight up to the sky and we'll put the solar panels at the top and then it will split off to which side it needs to be so that's kind of cool I think I like this a lot of randomness nothing planned that was that was actually still too square but the thing is like we did down here there's a lot of um, wood coming from lower and going upward so I was planning the same thing down there going upward so we were going to fill up that whole area there and then it would have been looking a lot more random so even this uh, downward thing it's not as random as I would, would have liked you see it's a lot more flat and so not really what I would, do, would want but here is going to come a lot of wood of course it's going to be a bigger branch than the one we just did okay so we are going I'm going to do that off game because as you saw how long that takes now and make a few more branches for now many But I do believe I like that one. And now we have flight. So jet flag flight, it's not the best flight ever. But hey, we have flight. We don't have to fall ourselves to death every time we come down or something. So now, if we go up there, I'm try trying to think if I want to make some sort of a bridge between these two, like a hanging bridge or something. But we'll see. Or just maybe make another tree here, a smallish tree, just as a supporting structure for the hanging tree. Then it can be a double hanging tree somewhere in the middle. Something like that. But for now, I think we should call it an episode. I'll move some of the resources that's too much into the drawers. It can't hold forever or too much, but you get these upgrades. So iron is your first one. You use iron to upgrade it and then it increases your storage by four times and gold is eight times diamond 16 and emerald 32 times so yeah, you can hold it quite a lot and you get these drawers that has four um, slots and two slots but i usually just use a one with one slots so it can hold by default 32 stacks so if you put in a iron upgrade you can hold what's that 64 128 stacks so that's kind of cool and if you all put this one you can hold 512 stacks but you can have multiples of this so if you let me show you so if you right or sneak right click you can see there's seven slots for upgrades so you can put all these upgrades in so you can put six emerald in there and well what six times that you do that 180 no 192 times 32 so that's too much math for my head and then you can also put in like a void there's a void so if it like cobblestone i usually put void on cobblestone so if it's filled up it just voids the rest because you don't use that much cobblestone but in any case for now i'm going to call it an episode um oh definitely end of world is going in there for now i'm going to call it an episode hope you enjoyed this episode hope you are enjoying my tree bot base or Tree, oh, tree house or something bold if you do please give me a thumbs up guys subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one cheers